as you think about maybe the family or especially the mom, how would you encourage her when she doesn't feel seen, heard, she's super lonely? Where does she start? I think really digging into what we were talking about, you and I both having those memories Mm -hmm. that needed to be dealt with so that we don't require of the community to see us in a way that's impossible. Yeah. Or we're like I was carrying that lie of being the outsider. Well, if you carry that lie of being the outsider to every group, (laughs) you're going to find yourself being the outsider. Outsider. Yeah. And then I would say, create the thing that you long for. If what I described, that process group where you're talking about your feelings and what you need sounds appealing, invite some families that you feel like would are in a growth posture and they would like the same. I've done that before, too, where I thought I should I would love to start this thing. And here's what I thought. But nobody will come. Mm. Everybody's too busy. I ended up asking eight women. All eight said yes. I was shocked. But I'm saying, too, again. The enemy of our soul wants us to stay isolated. Yeah. There's such power with as women get together, mm-hmm. when we share our stories, when we really see and hear one another, and when we bow before King Jesus together and pray for one another. I've had for years, my friend and I have prayed for each other and fasted on Wednesdays. And we would write down, we would send each other, here's what I'd love for you to pray for my marriage, for my kids. And there was a time that I even had this woods that I would go to and I would take these stones and I would lay them like, God, here's the things that I'm I'm so pleading with you about right now. And so I ended up having this memorial of stones that I built of all these prayers that I have sent. And my friends' prayers were on there, too. There's something really powerful about that. We may think like, does God hear? Yes, he hears. Yeah. 